So my people, before we get into this video, I just want to thank you so much to each and every one of you all that subscribed to my channel, been showing me love since the very first day that I posted an NBA 2K video. Thank you so much. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your video requests. Thank you for liking up the video. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for showing love to my channel. I got this channel literally from zero subscribers all the way to 1K. I didn't ask for handouts. I didn't beg nobody. I just asked people to show love and I'm gonna keep grinding. And that's what I did. So like I said, if, if anybody that's out there that's trying to accomplish a goal, anybody that's trying to, you know, hit a milestone, I promise you from the bottom of my heart, if you grind, and you do not get distracted and you stay focused, you will hit those goals and those milestones that you want. I promise you that. So I just wanna thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for always being there for me. And I just wanna, like I said, just tell everybody to keep focusing on your craft, focusing on your purpose, your goals, and you will make it and you will get to where you want to get to. The grind doesn't stop. This is just one milestone on, on my list. I'm going to keep going on this journey and I just want to thank y'all because y'all really helped me and y'all motivated me. So thank you so much. All right. So let's get into this video. What is going on, my people? How is everybody doing? And how is everybody frailing? And today, my people, welcome back to another video. And as you can see, I'm going to be showing you all how to make the 2002 to 2003 Phoenix Suns Stefan Marbury build. This is a requested build. My people, I'm a little under the weather, so I'm sorry if I sound a little nasal and stuffed up, but it is what it is. The grind must continue. So as you can see, right, 85 overall, 89 on the driving layup, and then you got that 90 close shot, which is fantastic. Mid range shot and the three point shot is really good. You'll be able to hit consistently threes with a 74. Trust me, I have a 75 with my Derrick Rose build, and I'll be cooking. And y'all saw the videos if y'all watched that, I'll be doing my thing. Free throw for all my rec players is at an 80, which is nice, and then we got some post control at a 55, and then the pass accuracy is an 80. Ball handling 86, speed ball 87. <clears throat> so now, excuse me, we go to the defense. Not much defense here. Uh, Stephon Marbury was not known for his defense, but this is a okay. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So now we're gonna go down to the physicals, and as you can see, we have an 87 speed, 87 acceleration, and then that vert is at a shocking 92, which is amazing. It's kind of crazy to see that when you know he don't do contacts and stuff, but this is gonna be a very interesting build to make. So let's go to the mob play builder and make the one and only Stephon Marbury. All right, my people. So we in the mob play, but do you already know Stephon Marbury? First and last name, point guard, right hand jersey number is three. He's 6'3", and then you want to go all the way down to 190 on the weight, and then a the wingspan. Honestly, you, you could just leave the wingspan the way it is. Nothing to really mess with. It is what it is. Body shape, it's up to you. All right, so first things first, the close shot was high, so we're going to go, I feel like instead of going all the way to 90, let's just go to 85. That's the sweet spot to give us that fast twitch on gold, all right? And then the driving layup was a... Uh, 89 but we're just gonna go let me see so we go up this is what we have but we're just gonna go to a 90 all right because this looks better that way post control was a 55 so we're gonna put post control right here all right that's gonna give us 15 my people all right everything else was low you don't gotta worry about that he had a 35 driving dunk so maybe we do put that up there just because that's his attributes go 81 on the mid-range shot and then you want to go to a 74 on the three-point shot so like i said you will be able to hit open shots with this all right so i don't think that this is too low because you will be able to hit the wide open shots right jump shot you're good to go uh the pass accuracy was an 80 so we're going to give him that 80 on the pass accuracy right here and i'm going to show y'all guys a trick so you see how i just pulled so I just put pass accuracy up, right? And you see how it's going by ones? If you don't want to do that, for example, if you want to go by fives, if you want a PlayStation 4, I mean a PlayStation 5, you hold the L2 button and look, see 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, right? You can also go by tens if you hold the R2 button on a PS5 and I think on Xbox it's uh, right trigger. So you go 
by 10, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's just a little, you know, trick that you can use, you know, if you didn't want to just go straight by ones. You can go by fives or you can go by tens. I kind of like that 2K, put that in the game. They had that last year too. Some people didn't know about it, but I definitely figured it out at some point. So then you want to go 86. That's going to give us that mismatch on silver. And then the speed with the ball was a 87. So we're going to just go to an 80. Let me see something, 87. I don't think you really need to go that high, my people. But we'll just go, we'll just go to an 86, all right? We'll, we'll just go to an 86 right here, all right? That's solid. Now, for the defense, the perimeter defense, uh, you don't gotta really worry about that. Let's just go 50 here. And then you wanna go 76 on the perimeter defense. The steal was a 50. The block was a 38, all right? The offensive rebound was a 34. And then the defensive rebound was a 44, all right? So, so like I said, he's not much of a defender. Just seven when it comes to the defensive, all right? Now, the speed and acceleration, he had an 87, so we're gonna go 87, and then we're gonna go 87 right here. All right, let's just go up to 88, that's better. The strength, he had a 64, so we're gonna go up to 64. And then the vert, he had a high vert at a 92, so you know what, we are gonna go with that 92, because that's what he had, and then we just go 90 here, all right? To make this build a little better, I'm just gonna go 75 on a three-point shot, all right? And then we're gonna boost up this defense and make the defense a lot more better because we have to do that, all right? So we're gonna put this block up to a 50. We're gonna put this offense and rebound up to a 60. And then we're gonna put this up to a 60 as well. We'll give him some more strength. Let's go 69 on the strength. And then let's see what else we can do, my people. We just go back up, 83, 83. Okay, so that's giving us 20 instead of seven, 55. And then we'll go 68. So as you can see, right, 15, 18, 24, and 21. So this build is looking really great. This is looking like a solid point guard build, my people. I really like this build a lot. I really like this build a lot. So let's say if you don't want to do all of that, if you wanted to just go like this, you can go back up and give him that higher close shot if you wanted to do that as well. That's really up to you. What you want to do, you can go 60 here, give us 21, something like this, all right? So now, this Stephon Marbury build is looking amazing. So you see all the takeovers that we're able to get, right? Can go with the finishing moves and then ankle breaking shots like this. I think that would be cool. Or you can go with the lock or playmaking. It's really up to you. I don't really think the takeovers really matter like that. Just choose whichever takeover you really like, all right? So as you can see, we have Stephon Marbury, number one from the Suns. A very, very dope build. We have an inside the arc shot creator. Incredible build, my people. This is a great point guard build right here. You will be able to have fun with a build like this, all right? So we're gonna test this build real quick, real quick. I ain't gonna keep you too long. Let's get this build to 99. All right, so we get 15 of these things, go gold. I'm gonna go Giant Slayer here. Uh, what else can we get? Uh, fearless, we could go here and then, let me see something, maybe go silver. And then we get the fast twitch right here, all right? Something like this is what I would do. Or if you don't care for fast twitch, just go like that. But I feel like you should wanna get fast twitch, at least silver, or you could do something like this. This might even be good. And then you'll be able, let me see, can you be able to do that? If you put plus two badges, you'll be able to get the slithery. So I think that's something that you can also do as well, my people, all right? So we did that, let's call this to be honest. All right, so let's just do this, all right? Now the shooting, I go with the same shooting badges on like most of my builds, honestly. That's just how I like to roll and then go clay moon. And then you do get these, if you wanna put these in equip them, you can. You can go blind as hell, you can go limitless range on bronze, it's really up to you. Now playmaking, always get bail out on bronze, hyperdrive, quick first step, unpluckable, very, very important. Clamp break on silver, and now you'll be able to get one more. You could, you could go with like killer combos. I think this would be really, really good right here, all right? Now the defense. So we went from seven to 21. That's really, really good. So look, we do get a couple of these, which is really, really good. Well, first things first, go gold. You want pick dodger, you want menace. 
Then you can like call your challenger. You could get uh, interceptor, and then last but not least, maybe go with some maybe some rebound chaser or something like that. But y'all let me know what I thought about this build. And until next time, much love.